In this video, we will be going over the user dashboard and account navigation for our users with an admin account type. To access the admin dashboard, you'll either want to click this orange search commercial listings button or under the welcome common name menu on the upper left hand side, just go ahead and select my cell slash lease listings. As an admin, what that will do is take you into this main admin dashboard screen. Your admin account um, has three main settings that you'll um, toggle between. The first one here is going to be listings. So you should see um, all of your office listings here. You can manage them from the screen. You can also view the listing traffic directly from the screen for your whole office. Um, underneath the listings is going to be transactions. All that is is leased for lease listings and sold for sale listings. And you can manage those right in the screen as well. And the last kind of main section that you have available is going to be agents um, and that's where you'll go to update your agent information and um, perform searches as the agent if you wanted to upload it, listings directly into the agent account you can do that but you can also do that through your main account as well so i'm going to go ahead and start um, by showing us the listings tab um, you can either access those by hitting the manage listing button here or you can go to listings up at the top blue bar i'm going to do that what that's done is taking me into all of the listings for my office. So my SEBA test admin account is in the SEBA Boise office. If you log in here as your admin account, you'll see listings for and then your office name. Some things to keep in mind here is this white bar up here is just going to be filters that you can apply to search for your listings. So you can see my office has no active listings, but if I go over to type, I can see um, that only active listing types have been selected. So if I go in and deselect those, um, some new listings will appear. And now my off market listings have shown up on my um, listings for SEBA Boise dashboard here. Some other tools available. Um, you can add listings directly from the screen. You can download your office inventory report. Um, you can verify your office listings. You should be doing that monthly. If you choose to expand all, what that will do is show you all of the properties are all the listings that you have within all of the properties that you have listings at. So the only listing that we've got in this account is going to be the test property listing or the test property property. And there's one sold um, listing at that test property. And you can choose once you've expanded all to either edit or view the listing. You can also view that information by this. Um, it says hide one space now, but if I close that, it'll say show one space and expanding that will do the same thing. You can also choose to filter by agent. So like I mentioned, um, the dashboard for or the listings page for admin users is going to show every single <laughs> listing for your office. Um, so one way, another additional way to filter through that is to filter by agent. Once you click on that, your roster will appear here and you can simply um, just check the agent that you want to see listings for and then submit that and then only see that or those agents listings. The last kind of feature up here at the top is going to be just how to sort your listings. So it's automatically set to sort by modified date and descending order. If you click on that modified date, you can actually change the different way that you do want your listings to be sorted by. So it's just one more way to kind of get through the listings on this My Listings page a little bit faster. And you can actually apply up to two different sorting methods. Um, so that might be something that you'd like to use. One more thing that I am going to show you here is um, just one feature that you have as an admin user that your broker users don't have. And that's simply gonna be just going um, into adding a listing. I'm not gonna go through searching for a property. We do have a whole series that we have recorded for listing management. And if you wanna get a clearer view of the whole listing process, go ahead and do uh, view those videos. But right now I'm just gonna show you one field on the listing input. So I'm just gonna click add a space here. Once I've done that, it does take me into the listing input, and the section that I want to show you is actually the agent section towards the bottom of this listing input page. So I'm just going to click on agents and it'll toggle me all the way down there, and you can see where it says primary agent. That information is not filled in. That's something that you'll do. So you'll simply go into that field and start typing in your agent name, and then anyone in your office who matches that um, 
kind of start to fill in, you'll see populate in this drop down here, and then you can just select the appropriate agent. Once you've selected the agent, it's going to populate the name for you. Um, so again, keep in mind uh, that the agent that you're plugging in does need to be in your office. So just make sure <laughs> um, you're in the right account. Um, and then if you're in as an admin user, you'll be able to type that in and it will automatically attach a primary agent um, if you're not logged in as the agent, which we'll go over um, what that looks like in a little bit here. I don't need to save this, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel and discard my changes. That kind of covers the basics for this listings page. Again, if you want to go over um, how to list and what that process looks like in more detail, we will have a listing management series that will go over entering listings and editing listings and properties. Now that we've done that, I'm just going to go over to transactions so you can see what that looks like. Again, all transactions are going to be are leased for lease properties and sold for sell properties. So now instead of the default for listings being active types, your transaction types again are going to be sold and leased. And that's what you'll see here. Um, this page is going to function just like that listings page did. And you can use the filters at the top to filter through those. You can filter by agent. Again, everything that you could do on the last page for your active and off market listings, you can do for your closed transactions. The next tab that's there, or the last one really that we'll go over today is gonna to be the agents tab. So if you click on that, what it does is it does take you to your company roster. Here you can go jump directly into managing agents, specific agents listings. Um, you'll also be able to um, log in as the user. And once you do that, then you'll have access to searching um, because the searches are branded with the agent's information. So you do information, you do need to log in as them in order to perform the search. But as soon as you'll do that, you'll have the search tab up here instead of, um, they won't have the transactions tab. So that blue bar is gonna look a little bit different for our broker members than it does for you as an admin user. Um, and then you can also uh, request an edit to their profile here. So if you need to add a biography or something, this is a great uh, place to do that without having to fully log in as them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and log in as the user here so you can see what that looks like. Now that I've done that, this is our um, like test account. <laughs> so you can see that I do have the search available now. So that's how you would go about searching as an admin user. You would just need to go into agents and then log in as the specific agent you wanna perform the search as. And then to log back in as yourself, you'd simply click on the profile. And then at the bottom of this drop down menu, it'll say log in as your name. And then you can click on that and it'll log you back into your main account. And that's it as far as those key differences between a broker account and your admin account. Thank you.